Hello everyone and welcome back to Susa Place where we are playing challenges in GeoGuessr. So if you want to challenge yourself, the seed is in the video description where I will copy it eventually. For now it's just in notepad. But uh, then you can play this seed and see how well you do and then you can compare your score to mine when I play the challenge. Which I will do right now. And we start off in a bit of a poor camera area with uh, trees and a road going straight east to west. Now considering the road is straight east to west, I'm thinking North America, not Australia. Australian roads tend to be long and straight, but not necessarily in the cardinal directions. Now here's a sign that would be nice if we could read, but take a break every two hours. 17 minutes, 57 minutes. Alright, you should do that too if you're watching videos. Take a break every two hours. Don't sit all day in front of YouTube. At least look out the window. If it's raining, Go back to YouTube. Why not check out my videos? Well, you are already on my videos, so I won't bother you too much. Uh, Alright, well, if they tell you to take a break every two hours, does that sound more Australian or North American to you? Hmm. I think that's more American than Australian. I think in the US, you often see those advice to people because I don't know they they don't think they can be trusted to know for themselves when to take a break or they're thinking that a friendly reminder is always in order I think in Australia it'd be more like well they can probably people can probably handle themselves if they're driving along if you're driving a long time, they'll know when to take breaks. No need to put a road sign up. But if we're in North America, what state could this be? We see a lot of trees, but it's looking quite warm. I would probably be sweating bullets if I was actually driving here. Especially since I don't have a driver's license, so it would be sweating for that reason as well. So... Maybe New Mexico, maybe Arizona, maybe some of those states. Also, uh, I mean, we're still going to get to the next time where they say, tell us it's been two hours now. Straight, well, we're no, no longer going straight west. We've actually turned a little bit north. Now we're going straight west. Did that guy drive on the left though? He did. We're not in North America. We're in Australia. Let's find a road that goes straight west. Here, Queensland. This one looks kind of promising actually because Queensland usually has these sort of uh, poor camera. Could be this one of course or anyone else. This one maybe. This one's a little bit smaller. Let's go for that one. Between Kunamula and Nabin. Well, that's just a guess, of course. Let's head on. We're headed east. So if we were or exactly where we pressed, we would be getting to Bolon. But I don't see any any sign of civilization here, except for that other car. But that was helpful, actually. Probably get us uh, at least a couple of thousand points if uh, that we wouldn't have gotten if we guessed New Mexico. If that was some some uh, guy in New Mexico being funny and driving on the wrong side of the street and well he cost us a lot of points there 
What's this say? Something sewn. Probably not something about where we're driving. <sighs> well, long road without any hope of seeing, reading signs. Let's see. Oh, actually, we were, we were on that road, but not quite where I guessed. We were on the 49 in uh, in Queensland. What are the odds? Well, pretty good because it was east-west, and these roads are most east-west. And then I picked not one of these because they looked too big, but still not one of these because it looked bigger than that. And the Queensland, of course, because that's usually where we have the poor camera. When it, when I I'm not sure if it's. Uh, the US or Australia is usually Queensland or New South Wales. But not that far west though. We started off here and then we turned a little bit north. We passed Southwood. We would have gotten to Mooney eventually, but it was a long road. Let's just say that. Southwood National Park. That might have been what that other sign said that we couldn't read. Alright, 4,000 points. That's pretty good for that one. Now. Cut bud. Acute bud. Well, that could be Swedish. This looks Swedish as well. And here we are. Uh, I can actually show you what I've been talking about. As you can see, this guy is not walking towards the road. They're always walking to the left in Sweden. That's why the, the one that's walking to the right, right always looks backwards to me. So, where in Sweden are we then? This looks like a suburban area. 30 is usually the speed limit where there's a school or something similar. There's a lot of text under there, but I can't read it. What does this one say? Factory. The Absolute Company. Now, if I knew where they were making Absolute Vodka, that would be very nice. Unfortunately, I don't. Hmm. Well, if we can find out what city we're in, we should be able to find that on the map. So this is actually where they're making vodka, for those of you. Skanska. Oh, hello there. Uh, showing off for Google, I suppose. You could uh, try to pull in your belly a little bit. I shouldn't be talking. I'm not as fit as that guy, I'll tell you that. But... Let's see. This definitely looks like a major city. Could we skip up onto this road? We can. All right. Here we have some signs. One eighteen. Solna Skolan. Kyrkjatorg. Yes, the road. That's just a church and place. Yellow buses. Roundabout. About right here. There's a boat in the middle of the roundabout. We also put fun fun things in the middle of our roundabouts in Sweden. Uh, 118 is the road we're on. But what town is this? I mean, this if it wasn't for the, oh okay, you start Simris Ham. Well, that's good. Ystad is on the very southern tip of Sweden. Well, not quite. There's the southern tip. Simrishamn is out there. So this is the 118 then? No. Where's the 118? Has to be down here somewhere. What does this say? Can we read that on some of our... Espet, okay, well that doesn't tell me anything. Well, there was a um, bath, bathing place. So, if we're going to East of Sibiris Hound, there's the 108, not 118. Is this south? Yes, it is. So, probably we could be up here. There's the 118, alright. There's Espet, okay, so we're in Aarhus. 
That's where they make absolute vodka. Uh, Espet Road. Let's see, can we zoom in and see? Or they make that not them dear in that's a plumbing company there's the golf club so Espit is down here so we have to be right here it means we started somewhere here. It's a training center. That's almost the same as a brewery. Hmm. Actually, we might have been in one of the smaller. And a restaurant, apothecary. Was it a 997 points? So the brewery was right here. If it was actually a brewery. Well, pretty good. 4,997. I'm happy with that. At least we managed to find what city we were in. Now, the third one is more difficult. We're in the mountain area. Very tall mountain, almost free of trees, but still there seems to be farming going on. Let's have a look here. LUP 1409. Deputation de Lucy. LUP one. If this is Brazil, which it admittedly doesn't quite look like, then we will be in the LU region. But if we're not in Brazil, then where are we? Could we be in Spain again? Oops, apparently I clicked the marker. We're not in the Atlantic Ocean, I wouldn't. Think. Lu, what region could LU be? I'm looking at the mountains because, of course, it seems like we're in mountains right now. NA, A, that's Andalusia, I suppose. Down here would be Catalonia. Yes, that's C. Hmm. Okay, well, let's not hang our all, put all our eggs in the basket. That is one little sign that's difficult to read. Let's drive a little around a bit and get a better guess. Estremar de Baixo. Estremar de Riba. I don't know what Estremar means. Neither do I know what the other words mean. So, let's ignore that. They do sound kind of Spanish though, so... My f uh, gut feeling says Spain. Then again, my gut feeling said New Mexico when we were in Australia, so... Perhaps I need to eat something. This one does look... Uh, this is not Brazilian, because they had the... The Velocidad or something like that. They have a... Quindu... Quindus and one of those marks that looks very Spanish to me. 150 meters to a stop sign. There it is. We were not fooled. Pure Ned. So is this a major road compared to? Uh, probably not. Ruta de Quindus. All right, that's Ruta means road, right? Or route. Seems like we're on the top of the mountain. Almost. We can see 
a view both ways. We have some cattle and quite a view. But what region would we be in? LU was that little bit of a road sign we saw. I'm not sure if that's a road large enough to actually be subject to those designations, but well, unless we can figure out where we are from the view here, I don't think I'll be finding much more because I'm not going to be able to go all the way down the Serpentine Road and get some to some major place. So instead we'll have to enjoy the view here. This is north. So we have mountains and hills. And if we look north, we could be along this region here. Let's look for any roads with an LU. Now this is the EX region where we were in a, another episode. This is AV. Just scroll along the middle here. This is the M, so it means we're close to Madrid. Skip that. And this is the CM, which was uh, Castilla-La Mancha. La Mancha, LM. Where's the rest of the La Mancha region? Down here? No, this is still Castilla-La Mancha. So what about this region? This is the GR. All right. Um, again, I failed to move the marker, but this time it might actually have helped us. If I put it down here where I thought it was, we would actually have been further away than this guess that was in the middle of Atlantic because I clicked my scroll wheel accidentally. So. L-U-P. Yeah, it was an L-U region. Of course, it's the... Let's learn. Where's the region marker? Over here. Lugo was the region, I suppose. Galicia. It was the Galicia region, but these ones are named after Lugo. So I should have looked for a city this time, not a region. Well, difficult to know what to look for. Because in Asturias they're called AS, but in Galicia they're called LU because you're close to Lugo. Alright, well we got 4,000 points from nothing there. River of Mokri... Moknia. That's of course Russian. This road is going north south. We are near the Moknia River, which I have no idea where it is. And it's not named after Moscow, even though it's close. I think it's probably there's another city called something close to Mos Moscow, but not really. And I think it's over here somewhere. But uh, let's not well on that let's go south on this road it looks large enough that we might find a road sign to cities we might find on the map Russia often has that especially if we get to an intersection or something similar okay well we have Zyukovo Zinkovo. So we're actually having dual languages here. So probably more in the European part of Russia. Zinkovo could actually be near Ukraine. Could actually be in Ukraine or in Romania. Belarus. Well, probably not Belarus. I don't think they have. They have. Uh, Street view could be up here where we were sometime. Siokovo. Okay, well, let's uh, ignore that and instead look if we see um, any even better road signs. Well, 
Well, these are using the Kyrillic language. So that's the major one. And that was the end of that village of, or city. So it wasn't very big. What does this say? I suppose it's telling it about a region or area. This is the that river, same name as the little city. Are we passing into some other region where there are some rules, clarification needed? This sometimes tells us where we're going and what road, where this road is headed. We had one of those tell us that the road passed St. Petersburg and a lot of other places. Okay, we're heading into Pustoshinsky. 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 Is that a big city? Probably not. Okay, we have Pushkin there, but not Pushtoshinsky. Pskov. Pushinsky Gori. That's close enough. I'm going to put the marker there at least for now. But I don't think that was it. Could be another city close by that has a similar name. But instead of looking on the map, I'm going to hope to find an even better. Idritsa is 25 kilometers that way. Well, if this road is going over 25 kilometers, then maybe we're not in a very populated area. What does this say? Noshlegovo. Don't see a Noshlegovo near here. Idritsa. That's it. Pushtoshka. Here? Here? Twenty five kilometers to Idritsa. We must have been here. Uh, not quite. I clicked there. We were we were on that road. Here's that strange uh, name of a place called Semnia 7.47 GA 30 meter of Severne. It's like named after the its uh, GPS reading. Poshka, Stoshka, Kraskonodorsk. I can't find those other places we passed. Noshlegovo. Idritsa Noshlegovo. That was the road we found that turned off to Idritsa. So we actually drove from there down to there. So the other places must have been along here. There's Sukovo. And then I can't find the other one. But still, not a bad guess. 4,930 points because we found Idritsa, which I thought was not a large place uh, from the look of that road. All right, here we have the shadow of the Google car, which is driving in this direction. So we're probably on the right side of the road then. And we have mostly, mostly evergreens and a gravel road. Now, this could be Scandinavia. We have a lot of these trees up here. There was a sign there. This could tell us a little bit more. It's red and white, so we're not in Sweden. I think that means we might be in Norway. Uh, however, Vilna Poda. No, we're not. We're uh, we're somewhere in Eastern Europe then. 
maybe Czech Republic, maybe Romania. We can have these kind of forests as well, most likely. Maybe we're in Serbia, Croatia, Poland. I don't think I can tell from these trees, but no, this doesn't help me really either. At least we're now on a paved road, so we're going to the right direction if we're not heading away from anywhere which would be Smidas. You put a, your name on Silver Road sign. Yes, you did you, Saulites. That must be the name of the family living there. So I'm not going to look for it on the map. 150 meter to a place where we have to give way, so it's probably a larger road. Ventspils. Well, Ventspils is in is, uh, Latvia. Am I right? I am not right. It's in Estonia then. Ventspils. I know I've seen that. There it is. It's in uh, Latvia. I was right. 35 kilometers to Ventspils. Uh, 37 to Valdemarspils. So what number road is this? I'm not sure. But if it's 35 to vent peels, and that's uh, west, west to vent peels, then we're probably up here. If I find there's Vandelmar's peels, so we're we're in the middle between these two. Vent peels, Vandelmar's peels. Middle is about here. And this one looks like it's turned from gra gravel to to non-gravel. Uh, can I actually click here? We would have been headed into this from the north, so maybe we were on... Is this a road? It is a road. It was pretty straight, wasn't it? Let's say we were on this road and then we ended up here. Maybe a little further out, actually. Okay, and that's kind of in the middle between Valdemar's Peels and Vent's Peels. So let's move up here. Enjoy the Latvian uh, decoration of the house. Okay, actually, this road led to Anse. So if we can find Anse on the map. Oh, so it was this one. We're, we're on this road. Okay. How far in? Like that, maybe? Puses pasta noda ja. Let's find that. It should be just to the west of where we are. So, right here. This is the Pustes Plaza. I forget. But it's uh, these houses that's behind the trees here, I suppose. I don't know what it is. It looks like a post office, but... Okay, we were actually further north on that road. I underestimated the distance we traveled. But we got 4,987 points, so... Total, 22,879. That's a good score, uh, a really good score. If I hadn't clicked in the ocean here, it would have been a little bit better. Actually, it would have been a little bit better if I'd found uh, Lugo. I think that's where we lost the small amount of points we didn't get this time. And uh, guessing this road was, of course, a stroke of luck, not skill. As much. But a uh, very good score there. Again, not a record. We needed another thousand points or so to beat our best for the channel. But uh, very good. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you had fun if you played along. 
and uh, I hope to see you back next time.